Did you know, as golfers, we lose 80% of shots on the 20% of things in golf we don't think about and don't practice? Do you want to be a highly effective golfer, scoring better than you ever have? First, we have to find out where we're losing the shots and how to fix that problem. It's the first hole, we're cold, we haven't warmed up properly, we haven't hit a ball in a while, and we try to come smash a big ass drive up there. Highly effective golfers hit their most confident and comfortable club on the first tee just to get the ball in play. If you start a round off well, you're going to finish the round well. I like my four iron, seven wood, six iron, anything, but on a 400 yard hole like this, I'm going to take the four iron, aim it up the left, and just be happy with the ball in play. Do you find the opening four holes is where you determine your scores? You either have a good opening four, or a bad opening for and that will determine how good or bad your round is. I used to be like that a lot of the time and that's where my handicap came from. But that all changed when I decided to just follow my strategy. Don't chase anything that I can't do. Hit the comfortable first tee shot. Hit the next shot comfortably. Something you can do. If you keep hitting stress-free shot after stress-free shot, you can have a great opening for holes. One birdie, one tip. These first four holes are really important. We got lucky with a the birdie there. Par five, I'm gonna hit the driver here. I'm feeling okay with the driver lately. If I wasn't, I'd be hitting the iron up there, taking the three shots on the par five, getting out of there with a the par, moving on, getting out of the first four holes, and then we're gonna free our arms up just a little. I've got some Victory insoles and some special socks that they make to complement the soles. I've been having trouble with my feet and calves lately, so I'm gonna Give them a go, see if they make any difference to my performance and walking. So far, so good. Wow. Wow. Come on, man. We were 253 yards to the hole, around the trees, ball below my feet. We'll need to hook it around with the three wood to get it on the green in two. And that's what you play out in your head but it never works like that, especially in the first four holes. We're still cold. We're still not 100% certain which ball flight is coming today. Highly effective golfers play the shots they know until they feel confidential enough. So we have 117 yards to carry this bunker in front of me here. And if I can get over that from 250 yards, if I can run it up there, maybe 150, 170 yards, I'm gonna leave myself a beautiful wedge into the green, three shots on a par five, and I'm laughing but I have to make sure I don't hit it high enough to hit these trees in front of me. So I've taken the six iron and I'm gonna hit like a 75% shot and make sure I catch all of it to fly that bunker, give me a wedge in. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't played in five months, I injured my wrist. This is my fourth round in five months. That's why I'm a highly effective golfer showing you how to do it. I play the shots I know in the moment. Two months from now, after I've been playing a lot, different shots. Five months no golf, back to basics. I'm putting you in a mindset where you are hitting the shots you know how to hit. You're in a positive frame of mind. You're not in a doubtful frame of mind, which then creates more errors, which then creates the negative death spiral. I'm keeping you out of that negativity mode. The negativity mode, when you come to the courses, when you have high expectations compared to your preparations. When your expectation and preparations do not match, you're gonna get very frustrated. That little gap is frustration. When your expectation and your preparation match, that's when you play good golf. This is what highly effective golfers do. We set up shots that we know how to hit in the most stressful times, in the most comfortable times, whenever it is, you always want a stress-free shot you know how to hit. Sometimes the number of shots you can hit reduces when you haven't prepared, you haven't played much, and expands when you've been playing a little while and more regularly. I accept that I have a few shots in my arsenal, and that's all I'm gonna use, especially on the first four holes. 86 yard sandwich. Cue the dirty music, girls. Five months, two birdies, girl. Now the big difference I notice is that the socks add a support at the back here on my calves and my Achilles while softening up the front here at the top of my ankle. And with the insoles, it doesn't make me feel like I'm getting stuck on my heel, which I get with the foam. These carbon insoles from Victory feel like almost like it's propelling you a little bit forward. So it makes the walk a lot easier, especially on the uphills. Normally I get sore feet from the foam insoles. 
And I mean, I've been playing, this is my third round with these. I haven't done a 36 hole day yet, but I feel like I can because normally it takes forever to recover after a round of golf. My feet are swollen. With these, it's like I've got fresh feet every day. So I'm really loving them. I think I may be using them every round. We're almost out of the four hole stretch. We're on a par three, but look at us. We see the pin, we wanna go pin. But no, we have a huge ass bunker on the right. If we go in that bunker, you're not getting out of there. You're not looking good. We may have the distance to that pin, but majority of people are not hitting a 185 yard shot right next to the hole. The dispersion on that in the first four holes is gonna be very far left or very far right. So we aim for the middle of the green, taking out most of the bunker in case we hit the mediocre shot. Highly effective golfers take out the disaster. We remove the disaster and we play the percentage shot. I'm going center green, left of the far side of the trap. No problems, not going in this. Okay, I apologize. Oh, that feels really comfortable. Normally my Achilles and my calves are a bit sore in this position. Let's see if I can do a full squat. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I did not mean to be this effective. I did not mean to be. Now do you think longer distance equals lower score? I got bad news for you. Longer distance is a byproduct of better striking in the center of the face. Better striking in the center of the face reduces your score because the dispersion comes down and your distance dispersion long and short is much better. Highly effective golfers know this. So we're not chasing distance, we're chasing position. We want position A on every hole to allow us to go for greens or to get to a position where we can attack the hole. Sometimes your long club doesn't work. So I hit a great driver up there, but looking at this hole, I'm not feeling that confident with that big ass bunker on the right. Why would I go set myself up into a bunker for my second shot when I can leave it well short of that bunker in a great position with a four iron. So we play for position. Position, position, position. I think I'm going to be wearing these Victory insoles <laughs> and socks forever. This is absolutely stunning. Are you hitting clubs to keep up with other people? Or do you think that the distance for each club is the distance you hit in the summer of 03 on that one shot where it went 200 yards? Well, highly effective golfers know their distances and they know which club to hit in every instance, regardless of what the ego is telling them to do. In this situation here, I've laid myself up to 128 yards and I know down breeze, that's a perfect 48 degree. If somebody hits a sand wedge next to me, do I feel bad? No, I don't. They may hit the ball, de-lofting the club. They may have faster swing speed. It doesn't matter. Whatever gets the job done from 128, what do you hit? It doesn't matter. As long as you know it's gonna work. Absolutely perfect. Bam. <laughs> what the hell? I can't believe it. <laughs> Highly effective golfers take care of their body, not in a way that you have to work out and become super strong, but in a way that you can get out of a car, you can go turn up on a Saturday or Sunday morning and play around a golf pain free. So I've been taking collagen, I've been taking BP7. These are things that are just helping my joints to recover. One of the other things I've been doing is using these Victory Soul insoles, but I found the soles to be great for my feet so that they're not full of sore spots at the end of the round. Normally, I get a sore spot on the ball of my foot and at the back of my foot on the heel because I'm a bit of a heel striker. So I've noticed a lot better improvement from there and much less knee pain after the round. Player, this is the most exciting product I've used in a long time. Use the link in the description to experience the same great feeling I'm having for 20% off your order. My plan here is to get this four iron to get down there with a little draw to the front of the green. That's what I want to do. Is there a doubt in my mind it's gonna slice into the woods? Yes, there is, but I eliminate that by focusing on what I want to do. Highly effective golfers put their mindset on what they want to do and the words on what they want to do, not what they don't want to do. Starting at the pin, left front of the green. Beautiful money. Beauty. 
let's go make that. What a putter! Do you see a distance and you pull a club automatically based on the distance? This is copy-paste golf. Highly effective golfers don't do this. Highly effective golfers look at the lie of the golf ball and they make an assessment of the lie and the wind conditions to create the correct shot and the correct club to use in the moment. I have 162 yards here. In this moment, the way I'm feeling and hitting the ball, I'm feeling it's a nine iron. If I wasn't so confidential, it may be an eight iron. I'm off the tee, so the nine iron is gonna grab another four or five yards of distance, putting me at the exact number of 162. What am I gonna do off the tee? Generally, it has a tendency to move left, so I'm gonna aim a little right of this pin, and I'm gonna be right near the hole for another birdie. Well, not today, but a beautiful par nonetheless. Maybe your number one tee club is on the blink. You don't know if it's going left, it's going right. Happens to us very often on the golf course. Highly effective golfers have a go-to club. Mine works in driver, seven wood, four iron, six iron. I'm gonna hit the four iron here because it's a highly confidential club and I think it's gonna set me up in the place I wanna be set up at around 130, 140 yards into this hole. If we get too close to that big tree there, we have to keep it under the branches from 100 yards, which is not a great shot. So let's use our go-to club, the one that works when the main ones don't work. On a green surrounded 75% by hazards, it can be very scary to hit a shot toward that green because there's 75% chance really of going in some serious problems if you miss the green. Always assess where can you miss. On this hole, you can miss short left and it's going to leave you a chip. If you're not feeling confidential and you can't go directly at the pin because you're scared of the other stuff, find the place you can go to. Highly effective golfers know where to miss the green. Aim for where you can miss, chip it close, you're going to be a great golfer. Oh. You may get up and down from here, you may not. It's a very tricky shot. But the best thing you can do is to get it on the green. If highly effective golfers know, get the ball on the green, get a putt, avoid the double chip. The double chip is deadly, so practice your chipping. That's all we need. Maybe we make it, maybe we don't. These Inesis golf shoes are pretty cheap and their insoles are firm. I really feel like I was really slow stuck in the mud. I'm feeling fantastic in these victory insoles. Let's see if we can make a little putt ski here. I've got the perfect line. Come on, Maddie. No, you've got to hit it like a man, you know? What the hell is that? Boogie! Oh, well. Some, you know what they say, though. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Come on, Maddie. Man alive, I have not hit the ball so long in a long time with these insoles. <laughs> I cannot overstate the impact of these socks and insoles together. I cannot overdo it. I wasn't expecting that much, but I'm impressed. We've got 184 yards. We're going to go with a 7 iron. We're going to hit this real tasty. <laughs> what a putter! Today, you got a tip again, huh? <laughs>